Alrighty, just a quick Shrike Ultra update. Um, the CA glue came in, so now I'm gonna basically pull all this stuff, these two screws out, and then pull this out. Make sure this is all glued up here. And I've got one more set of the ring bearings that I stacked in there coming in for this fan because I haven't installed them yet. <laughs> so, but I do have the upper bearing assembly done, and we are starting on the ductwork. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost, we're so close to getting a full spin up on the floor. Even if I have to test it, this is even before I install the, the flight controller, I can use a standard serial bus splitter and just run all four engines directly through the ESCs before I even integrate the flight controller just to see how all four motors sound spooling up at the same time. <laughs> I think this is going to be epic oh and we got the lights coming too that was another thing i can't button this up really until i get the other lights but glue came in i got a couple sets of this it came two cans of this and four bottles of this not bad at all i think it's about 20 bucks somewhere around 20 25 bucks really good stuff use it all the time usually stick with medium especially when i'm doing stuff at this scale but now we can kind of get everything buttoned up and uh finished up and get the ducts work on it and then get those body parts fiberglass on and then get this table out of the way and <sighs> start assembling for the first time the biggest 3d printed drone in the world edf anyway i don't know if anybody 3d printed anything bigger than five feet by five feet but if they have i haven't seen it and we're talking 3d printed literally everything except for the hardware holding it together everything is printed everything absolutely everything can't wait can't wait